They say a marriage is supposed to be getting into a hot bathtub. The moment you are in it, it's not so hot anymore. Soglyang tumka maye mogacho yokar aiche disa golden brigade ya amche karya vodi. Aiz amche sangata kasa ek ekdom sobit kitak awen jen na tanga poili meoli poili munta ti tanchi sobita ei maja dole angeli. Amche sangata banale gaunchi. एकदम सोबीत जोड़े आसा आनते मुटार सिलविया मेनेजस आनुएल मेनेजस ये ये जोड़पे कैरिजमेटीक रिन्यूवल जाते जाते वाउरता जाए तो बोर वावर तिमी के वरों फोल कसो गॉड हेज गिवन दैम फिफ्टी इयर्स ऑफ मैरिड लाइफ आई एम सो honored to meet this couple because when i saw them for the first time my heart gave a leap because they looked so much in love with each other so tanka ami yokar diu ya boyn silvia menezes ani bau maniel menezes a warm welcome to both of you all i thank you so much for giving us this time and going you are going to share this beautiful journey of 50 years with us Thank you so much Thank for giving also. us this time. Thank you also. Thank you also. Manuel and Sylvia, when anyone sees you for the first time, of course I am seeing you all now 50 years hence, but I can imagine just a little bit how beautiful a couple you all must have been. So Manuel tell me a little thing about before marriage what was Manuel all about? What was your life? Who was at your home? What were you doing? I was working. Okay. As an analyst in uh, Itala Laboratory. Okay. In Margao, then I was sent to Vasco, transferred to as a chemist, huh? as an analyst. Okay. Then to Samorde, where we have our branches. Okay. And after in nineteen sixty six, sixty seven, again to Vasco. Okay. Yeah, and then I was in Vasco. Till my retirement. So before that, Manil, who was there at home and mummy, daddy, who was there, brothers, sisters? We are six of us. Okay. Brothers, sisters. Okay. Three and three. Okay. But all were ab abroad, except my eldest sister was in Bombay. Okay. And in Goa only myself and uh, my sister, younger sister. Okay. Who is in the states now? Mm. And my mother. Okay. And your father? Father died when I was doing my college in Belgium. Okay. When I was young, twenty-five years, twenty-four years old. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He died, and uh, then I finished my college, and then I did my engineering in Delhi. Okay. And uh, was getting a job in. Government of India, okay. but I did not take that because they offered me a good job, good salary that time, on the borders of India with China. Okay. So I said, left that and came to Goa. Okay. And took this job because I also did my graduation in chemistry. Okay. Yeah, and worked as a chemist. Very good. And what about uh, Sylvia? What was life before Manuel? Life at home. How many brothers, sisters, and yeah, what were just, you doing? Just like him, we are three sisters, three brothers. Okay. And uh, I'm the third in order. Okay. Two brothers before me, and uh, I was like a, a, as a good. I was a good student, I can say, and loved my studies very well. Always with an. It was during Portuguese time that we were studying. Okay. And we had to go abroad to do our. Higher studies, so I'd always had that aim to go for higher studies to do my my higher studies, and like uh, I was struggling for that, and then the liberation came, in, and then I was a bit upset because medium was Portuguese, then I had to shift it to English. I was a bit upset, but I struggled and I did my graduation. Okay. When but to, uh, to study, I mean, uh, take up a job at a very young age, okay. as a undergraduate, because my father was on transfers and he would not allow me to stay away from him, because my brother had already left for Portugal, 
okay. to complete his higher studies. And everybody was moving to Portugal. So he says, uh, you don't stay in Panjim. You come with me. He was on transfers from Panjim to Vasco, Vasco to Margaon. He was working as a government officer. Okay. So I had to break my studies. I did my the science uh, in Panjim and then did my training and started teaching as an undergraduate. Like so that will be before 20s, right? You yes. must have started working before your 20s. Yeah, before. At 18, I started. Oh, you started working at, at 18, 18 years. And then studying and working, studying and, and working. That's never gave up my teaching and never gave up my studies also. Because studying was your passion. Yeah, that was. And did it externally without going to college. Because, you know, the superior, the principals, he says, Sylvia, you, you should not stop here at this, this thing. You must go for higher studies. And I said, there are no colleges for the year, what to do? No, I will guide you. And I did it my ex uh, BA, uh, thing, BA externally. Okay. And then I did my post-graduation after getting married. Post-graduate after marriage? Yeah, after marriage, after getting three children. So now, after Sil how does Sylvia and Manuel become a couple? Was it a love marriage or was it an arranged marriage? What was it? Was uh, it a love it marriage? It was a love marriage. Oh, 50 years back and falling in love. When I saw her, Sylvia first, my future wife, I liked that for the first time. And then since that time, I never gave it up. You pursued her? Pursued so much that you became husband and wife. You became one today. And you're still one and 50 we are, years. And we are, God gave us 50 years of togetherness, 50 years plus. 50 years plus. Yeah. So you all are celebrating your... 52 years next May. Next May. Yeah. 52 years. That 50. is next month, next, is it? Yeah, next, next month. month. Okay, so you all are going to be completing 52 years. God. On 24th May. God has blessed and he's still blessing. Yes. yes so yes. it was Praise a love God. marriage. So who proposed whom? Um, I don't know this. You, uh, difficult, you're difficult to remember because it was so beautiful and so <laughs> nice to see a beautiful girl yeah, like Sylvia. I think she proposed. Because <laughs> well, you is that beautiful, the truth? No. <laughs> is that the truth, Sylvia? Did you oh, I don't know really, but I liked him because of his, you know, he was a very polite gentleman, I can say. I came across some like uh, people like who was, I mean, I had proposals earlier, but I always refused. But he was very gentle, that very first meeting that I had, you know, he was very, very gentle, very soft-spoken. He, he never boasted of his qualities. I never knew that he had gone abroad and had done his training in Japan and things. But I found him very sober, very patient, and that, that is attractive. I mean, in, in his eyes, physical looks also. <laughs> uh, you always had a passion to study and then there you were before your post graduation going to get married were you ever worried my this boy like loves me of course that goes without saying but will he allow me to study was there any time of fear Sylvia for that mm, I don't think because we, he was very frank I had told him I, as a matter of fact I completed my graduation just before we got married okay just I mean, like we, I mean, I, I the thing, we had a, what you call it, engagement, and then I went for my uh, exams to Pune, okay, and completed my graduation and we got married. I, I didn't. He was very frank in whatever he spoke and not all this things and things like that. So I, I never found any difficulty with him. And you just mentioned earlier that after you had your three children. Okay, so it was immediately after your marriage, your children all... Yes, the first one came immediately, okay. before one year. Okay. Like she, we got married in May and 71 March, the first one. So you have children like daughters, sons, all daughters, all sons? Yeah, How first, many? first do two daughters Okay. and then son came after four years. After four years. The girls so, came one after one and the same, uh, and immediately. Okay. And then when you said after these three children, you want to go for post-graduation. Manuel, were you encouraging her to do it? What was in your mind at that time? That three time, children at home. How were you going to manage three children at home? Not only three children, but I have had to manage also my mother. 
Oh. Was very old. Okay. Yeah. 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 There was very singa ha ke aari. Yeah. Um, and there he up. Oh, there is a picture there. Yeah. So we will show the people later on the mother's picture also. So you had to manage your three children as I well as your mother. mother. But in that, my this daughter who is here now, Elder she was one. second daughter. Okay. She was looking after her very much. Okay. Time to time, medicine, give her food, give her this every. She, even after coming from school, I was going to school before going, and after coming. Then I was at home in the evening. Then you used yeah, to take charge then, of everything. Yeah. So that means, uh, how long were you studying for your post graduation? That was professor's course. Okay. Post graduation, I didn't go to Bombay University. I was selected to do my uh, teachers uh, the thing. She went to France so to Sorbonne. Professors. Uh, so that was training. for how long then? One and a half year. Like. One, one and, and a half one, year. One year, three months. Like. Sylvia, did you have to struggle to take a decision, or Manuel was all there with you like a rock steady support, saying no, no you should do because you know I can imagine as a mother also your three I children. I was feeling for my children and for my husband, leaving him alone. I refused for one the thing. First time I refused the the thing the offer. scholarship, mm. and then on the second offer he encouraged me. He says you might not get this opportunity. You go ahead with your Your plan, plans. So that is how I went ahead and yeah, did it. Yeah. See, sometimes in life it is so important that we support each other's dreams. Yeah. When we support each other's dreams, these fifty years just slail by. And I'm so happy that I meet somebody who then, in those days, because you know when we meet couples of an age, you know, at sixty-one, in those that period. Normally, you know, they look for housewives, and they were looking for people who are working at home, or they would, you know, tell their wives, "Quit, yeah, you stay at home." But at that time, Manuel, I hats off to you because you were giving so much of, so much of encouragement to your wife, and I'm sure today there are a lot of boys in this, you know, who are watching this program who will definitely take a lesson or two from you and say, "No, even our wives have to work for their dreams." Three children. Did they give trouble at home? Of course, you have already shared that your daughter was taking such yeah. good care of your mother. But were they, you know, study wise or uh, you know, in other ways, were they troublesome or did you manage it very well? Yeah, it was very well manageable. Okay, it was well managed because they also were looking after, and then we had a nice maid also. Okay, so things were going all right. So you did not because you know Manuel. As I look at it, uh, going to work, okay, there will be stress because you worked for a company like Italab, which has so much of workload also there. Yeah. And then coming from that stress home, and then there were those three. That must have been a real struggle. No, didn't you feel at any one point? No, Sylvie, you come back home at that point. Did you feel that kind of a moment? No, until she finishes, there was no way. No. Show the brown, but things were going on very well. Okay, because it was with the help of higher up, our God. Yes, He was taking care of us. It was everything was going well. So when you came back, Sylvia, you were getting you were in the Dyson School or AB School. I've been always in Dyson School. I joined. I only one. I mean, one year I had to come to Loyola. Okay. Because uh, uh, because uh, my father got a transfer in Loyola. Okay. So that is that is the then I went and then after we got married, Loyola was not taking married teachers. So at I'd, that uh, at yeah, that yeah, time. At that time. Okay. So they said, Sylvia, we don't like to leave you, but you we will have to make some arrangement. Then I said, Father, go back to my school. I was welcome there in my. School. As so that was where that was now in Vasco. In Vasco. So that would be Saint Andrews. Saint Andrews Bank. Yeah. Okay. And then when you retired now from which school did you retire? I uh, then uh, then we came to stay in Margao. We bought a flat in Margao. Okay. And then uh, the Dyson people, uh, I mean from uh, Navili, they approached me. Silva, you join us. We want you there. Okay. So I went to school. So that was the, close by also yeah, for you. Yeah, Rosary School. Then from Rosary School, I was uh, promoted to higher secondary. Okay, 
ओके रिटायर्ड फ्रॉम द हायर सेकेंडरी फ्रॉम द हायर सेकेंडरी सो प्रोफेशनल लाइफ वॉज एक्सट्रीमली सेटिस्फाइंग वेरी मच I I love teaching and still I, you know, I, I love teaching teaching and 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 still still you know I'm teaching still classes are going on in the house oh. guidance is going mm-hmm. on because they you know my colleagues children my children my grandchildren they want my help and I make some time to for them I still love teaching I'm passionate about teaching who took the decisions for the children was it manual or whether it was when they needed guidance for their education and we all other things discuss both both mm-hmm. of us discuss like and choice was theirs okay. they did all three of them did the science graduation okay my second daughter now is she's teaching in ashram okay in she's the, an engineer okay. yeah she did her uh, uh, electronics okay uh, the thing and uh, she's teaching electronics there in the vocational stream at uh, ashram ashram and my elder daughter she did her she did chemistry graduation and they were abroad they got married and they went abroad but okay. now she's back okay because of she came home because of the education of the two boys okay and then she settled now in goa okay and the boy also is a graduate in chemistry and uh, he worked for for various banks okay first so he joined as a medical uh, rep okay and then that he was very tiring for him always on the bike and thing like that then he was in the in the bank okay. then he went abroad and then now he is the manager for nippon okay mutual funds company okay so all three children are now happily married and well settled okay yeah, yeah. so how many grandchildren you have I have now six grandchildren. Six grandchildren. How old is the eldest one? The eldest one is twenty-four now. Oh, so you're Boy. already getting set to be <laughs> great grandparents also in the near future. Is it? Yeah, twenty-four. Yeah. And the youngest is? The youngest is this boy. Youngest is here. <laughs> okay. He's uh, ten. No, no. Ten years. Huh? Eleven oh. years. Eleven years. Okay. So. you know you had three children who were so nice who were so well behaved and they didn't give you much trouble no. but you have six great gra- six grandchildren sorry so six grandchildren and three children any difference in them in that generation and this generation a bit a bit because uh, these children of us they didn't have mobile phones okay they were very studious you can say okay they they did their lessons on their own okay with my little little help from me my side okay. there were difficulties facing like okay. they never went for tuitions only for i mean when they reached 12th okay but now you know they are bound to give mobiles to the children okay so you feel that a mobile in the hands of children it makes it things difficult very difficult for, for the parents to control okay because even if the parents like uh, did not give them now the system made them give it to them give it to them actually covid that was one of the biggest drawbacks i think as far as this younger generation was that they had to you know give mobiles Mobile. to children okay but i'm sure because you all have been such fantastic parents your children have been such fantastic children i'm sure that would not be a big problem even for your grandchildren Yeah. Okay, but you know we see fifty years manual down the line, lots of ups, lots of downs must have been there. Okay, so yeah. any one quality manual that you say Sylvia should have not had, or any one quality Sylvia you thought, oh you know manual, you ever fought and all because you all don't look like the fighting kind also actually to me. <laughs> But did you ever have any arguments or you know got mad arguments at each other? We were having every time. Okay. Yeah, every time. Okay. But okay. Get angry. Even say bad words sometimes. Before. Okay. But never went to sleep with anger in the heart. Never ever. Forgiveness. From day one. Till today. Till today. Till today. 
and that is one and, of the best and i think one of the most important quality if you decide to take a vocation of marriage you must know when to be angry and when to forgive and i'm really glad that you know manuel has brought this up today that we don't go to bed you know we don't go to bed angry so all these changes in you all came along the way who was more religious who was more spiritual in the marriage hmm Religious. Who was most spiritual? Who believed? Mm. You know, kept their yeah, faith. After wrong. renewal. Okay. After the renewal. Before renewal. Okay. Joining this charismatic renewal. Okay. Okay. I was searching for something. Okay. Looking out. Okay. Peace. Right. Okay. okay. Because there was always like this disturbance. Okay. Getting angry and this thing. I even if I get that mobile, I don't mind. Okay. How much money is that? True. 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 It. Oh, so looking out for peace. Okay. I even used to go and attend this believers meeting okay. all the way to Parra even from Marag. Okay. And then I met uh, her colleagues and all. Okay. Manner, why don't you come for our meeting? That's in 1989. Oh. 1990. Yeah. And from that time. We did from there in 1990, I think, in a healing retreat in Paloti, Father okay. Father Rufus, the Erica, Father James, and all this. And since then, there is a change. There was a complete change. Complete change. And then you all were, you all are, have been active in the Catholic Charismatic Renewal. Yes, very active. active. He, he is, he is the Eucharistic minister. Okay. For, for the twenty Greek. years, I don't think anybody is there. In all he the committees of the Greek Church. Okay. And Eucharistic ministers. Okay. Because the problem went even to the bishop to change that particular group. Okay. Bishop, because I used to give talk on this Bible and all, to have with, make meetings in Don Bosco's, bring okay. the core group people okay. Okay. and also parish pastor council members make their this thing. So, I'm, so charismatic has been one of the foundation for you all to change your lives and to make you all more closer to God. Very yes. much, very much. And uh, till today, you all attend meetings or is it restricted uh, because of now, COVID? No, we don't go by because first question is transport to okay. go. Because okay. where we can go is only Grace, okay. English prayer group. Okay. And first is transport. Second thing, now because of pandemic. Correct. And we, before that also we stop sometimes. We engage the driver just to go for, because charismatic is like we always used to go daily mass. Correct. So here daily masses were, I mean, very early, we could not make. So we had engaged the driver just to go for 9, uh, eight fifty mass to Margaon. Okay. And we never missed that. Okay. We never missed the daily mass. Only when the pandemic, because of the COVID, the, I mean, the pandemic, we had to stop. Manuel and Sylvia, today marriages, you all must be seeing, hearing. And since you all are in the charismatic renewal, you all will be having a lot of people who come to you all for prayers also or asking you all to pray for them. Yes. What difference in marriages 50 years back, what difference in marriages now? What do you think? is a key ingredient, either it's missing or it is... I feel that before getting before getting married, they should really come, they should surrender their feelings and their their choice to, to God and make the choice. Yes. Sometimes without knowing the partner thoroughly, they go ahead with the marriages. True. They should learn the habits, if they are really, they have some spirituality in them, yes. if they have some Christian values in them, they should learn the partner well and then go ahead with the marriage. I, I remember when I attended my marriage course, a very nice priest there said, don't look for a boy or a girl who stands on their feet, but look for a boy and a girl who will be down on their knees. 
because whenever there will be any kind of problems or any kind of happiness you will be there with god and that are the people those are the boy and that is the girl you need to look out for because we look for people if they are well settled mm-hmm. or oh, whether it, he will take true, care and true. money a uh, position uh, a big house these are not criteria for marriage he said the day you know this boy is there on his knees near the lord this is the boy you need to catch and if that girl knows how to pray to god this is the girl to catch this is the same principle that we had we we had, we had, had the same thing we had nothing we had nothing as i told you we had uh, I mean as a teacher at 18 what was the salary i started with 130 oh my god that time at that 130 130 was high Big amount. Again. and he is i started on 150 oh he wow started. so and then when we got married it was something like 1000 and 130 so we never i never asked about his uh, money neither did he ask about my so that is the key ingredient is that prayer and keeping god in your relationship that is what is the... i found in him and in, when i chose like in one of the qualities that he was very much close to god and i prayed a lot before i went ahead with the marriage to give him the right partner that's it marriage god the marriages are made in heaven and then they lived on earth you all have anything that you all want to tell couples for today you know people who because you all have reached 50 years and it's a major milestone so for today's couple suppose somebody is getting married now or has got married now 5 years because a marriage you know for the first 5 years is always you know some a learning process people think within a year everything should settle down it doesn't for the first 5 years it's always a learning process so do you have something that you would like to tell our young couples for yeah. today the young, young couples cu- must do like what we do yeah never keep anger in your heart fight argue do everything let that be argument but when you sleep go to sleep sleep together with not no anger in the heart no resentment in the heart forgive one another finish God And will bless everyone. What about you, Sylvia? Yeah, I also believe in that. We we sometimes we argue some small things, and then when when we go to sleep, we forget everything. We are fresh in the mornings when we get up, and little of prayer life. We don't miss our prayer life, even though we don't go to church now. We begin the day with a prayer, a surrender prayer, and then. Never miss our rosary. Isaiah Kozari Jorpya naam ka ek vos mohtwa chhi sangleya matleya deva cho mog deva chhi odok deva chhi birant and jen na ami birant munta di ek beshti li birant no avoi te kon na zale te zau chena na tosli no pun moga chhi birant aau deva cho mog korta so aau deva bai jibi jio shekona moga cha no. आय सिल्विया आणि मानवेला आमका वोडली देख दिल्या आणि एक म्हटल्यावर या काजारी जोडप्याच्या जिवितान म्हणतात ते बोक्सोणे सगळ्याहून वोडते एक देण हे तांच्या जिवितान कितलोय राग येऊ जोगडल्या आणि ती एकामेकाचे जायतो राग काढला पण खेदनाच खुंची राग तांकां उघडास ना ती मोगान निदोंग गेली ना म्हणून आणि एक आय वोस तांच्या जिवितान माका शिकोंक मेवला म्हणतात ते they lived for each other's dreams tache bailek shikong jay asle to tache fatlan ek khamba ko saralo aplya gowa ku aplya career an voi rosong jay tei tache fati kalle so moga cha no aplya bailechi aplya gowa chi sapna puri korun eka meka che ruch dollale asa aiz manyalan silvian amka i dek dilya aao samjata tumi kite shiklant mhanon आणि या दोघी मोगाचे सोबीत जोडप्याक मिळून तुम्ही भो खुशाल जाल्यात असतली सगळ्यांक तुमकां पळतल्यांक आणि आयकतल्यांक देव बरे करू